Welcome to Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins. Today, we will be going through the steps of creating a net fill embroidery. Creative Drawings has wonderful tools to help you create your net fill easily. Let's get started. Go ahead and open a new document. Use a new graphic and whatever hoop of your choice and click Next. We're just going to create an embroidery normal embroidery and click cotton for our fabric and finish. Now go over to the left side of your creative drawings window. You have many different tools and one of them is the create shape tool. Notice in the bottom right hand corner of that tool as with several other tools you have a little arrow. What that means is left click and hold your mouse on that particular icon and a new uh, menu comes out. It's a little flyout menu and this shows you more um, tools, more different shapes in this case that you can create with your creative drawing software. So I'm just simply going to use an ellipse and left click and drag in the work area to create my circle and just scoot that up to the middle. Now when we are creating a net fill embroidery we want to begin with just having a double stitch and what that double stitch will do is it will tell us where our embroidery is going to be and we're going to trim the fabric within that double stitch. So click on your ellipse or whatever shape you've created and what we're going to do is come up to the object properties to the fill areas and click none because we do not want any fill in there we're just going to use the outline. Now go ahead and click on the outline again and let's change the color. When you come down to the thread palette make sure you remember that the bottom right hand corner of the the color icon is for your fill area and the upper left hand corner is for your outline or your pencil or pen. So we're going to click in the upper left hand corner and we just change this outline running stitch to green. The last thing we want to do with this outline is to go ahead and change the um, the type of outline from just a single running stitch to a double stitch. To do this, we're going to change the outline size in the tool options to 0.6 and enter on your keyboard. And notice over on the object properties, it changed to double stitch here. And it's also, you can see, it's a little bit thicker. So that is your uh, double stitch outline there. So that's what we want to work with. After we have this done, let's go ahead and duplicate this outline. Now, remember, we already talked about we're going to stitch this outline first. So we're going to stitch this double stitch. You're going to take your fabric or your hoop out from underneath the needle of your machine and trim away the fabric in here. So we're going to trim away the fabric in here. And then you're going to place this back on the hoop. The next step is to place water soluble stabilizer underneath the hole you've created and then we want to stitch that down. So let's go ahead, select this. We're going to duplicate. So we're going to do another double stitch around and ho to hold that water soluble stabilizer in place. But to make sure that we do one running stitch, your machine stops and you can pull out the fabric so you can cut. We want to go ahead and change the color here because by changing the color you'll get an automatic stop. So we'll do the first color, stop, your machine will stop, you're going to trim out your fabric inside, you're going to put your hoop back on, then go ahead and place water soluble underneath and you're going to get another double stitch to hold that water soluble in place. Now in creative drawings those um, stitches are directly on top of one another. So let's see what it's going to look like here in the sequence manager. So let's go ahead and click the auto sequence control. We don't want to change anything so we're going to say nothing and click OK. And now you can see the green row of stitching and then also the magenta, the bright 
uh, purple row of stitching right there in our sequence manager. So now we have our line for our cutting, our line to hold, our stitching line to hold our water soluble stabilizer, and last but not least we're going to put, put in our net fill embroidery. So let's go ahead and duplicate one more time because once we do that we have that exact circle directly on top of one another but we can come over to the object properties on the right and click our fill object property and this time we're going to choose net fill so click on the net fill you'll see it automatically fills in there I am going to change it to the same color as our second one because the second uh, row of stitching that will go ahead and hold your water soluble in place and then go directly into your uh, net fill embroidery so that's a really nice way to do that so it makes it really easy once we have this net fill what you guys will notice is that net fill goes directly up to the edge of where my double stitching was and what I need is it needs to go a little bit further out so it will catch your fabric which is very important well this is one of the really wonderful things about your creative drawing software is the net fill has several different properties one of them over here being called offset I'm going to put in a 1.5 millimeter offset and click enter and what you're going to see is your net fill got a little bit bigger than basically not just a little bit 1.5 millimeters bigger than our original stitching and that's what that offset lets you do so you can make it a lot bigger or you can make it just enough to catch into the fabric so that's what we're doing here you're going to be sewing this net fill over the top of the water soluble stabilizer and it's going to catch into the fabric by 1.5 millimeters that's a pretty good size now you do want to test because some fabrics it may be a little bit different than others so um, I just choose 1.5 for a normal cotton fabric and then last but not least I am going to come back and instead of having a running stitch around this I am going to choose a satin serial stitch and what that allows me to do is change my satin stitch to about 3.5 usually between 3 and 4 is good and now my satin stitch will actually overlap or basically it's going to cover up my cutting on my um, my, my cutting of my fabric and also cover up the edge of the net fill so it's really a great tool that net fill is set up really wonderfully so once I have this done let's go ahead I'm just gonna do a quick <laughs> slow redraw that's kinda sounds strange but let's go ahead and see how this is gonna stitch so I'm just gonna go ahead and click start and this first row I stopped it real quick there that first row that first row of double stitching what that is is you're gonna stitch that your machine will stop because of the color change you're gonna pull out your hoop you're gonna trim your fabric that's inside of this double stitch then you're gonna place your hoop back on water soluble behind the fabric and we're gonna start again so there's another your second row of stitching is going to hold that water soluble in place and then start one more time and there's your net fill that's actually um, stitching over the top of your water soluble stabilizer and just catching your fabric which is great and you're seeing the underlay of your satin stitch and then the overlay the satin its satin stitch itself so this is the really simple easy process in your creative drawing software to create great open work with these wonderful sorts of net fills that are available to you so the written steps for the net fill process are going to be in our main newsletter so check out the main newsletter either on our website or if you subscribe to our newsletter you will be getting that in the middle of May and you can also for like you see the pictures on the screen you can visit our Facebook page to see the stitching sequence in pictures these are some of the pictures that are on our Facebook page to show you the sequence for using your hoop and cutting things out 
to go along with the written steps. And then don't forget all of the great information on our website on www.creative-drawings.com where embroidery magic begins.